Hi everyone. Apart from that dramatic entrance to do nothing with Godzilla, um, welcome to this video. Yeah, you're viewing this ugly mask of mine again and my very small hands. But I hope everyone is enjoying their final days of 2021. And I think we're all preparing for 2022 to make hell even worse. And by hell, I mean Earth. But I thought to celebrate the final days of 2021, though it's done no good for the human race at all, I thought we would review every Godzilla figure of mine. Uh, don't really know where to start. In the background here, I don't know if you can see it that well, we've got... If I go here, we have a Vastatosaurus Rex from King Kong. I guess he counts, because he is a sort of kaiju. But I guess we'll start with him. So, uh, unfortunately, I got this off Wish.com, but I wasn't disappointed with my package. It opens and closes its jaw. I got this for my, um, I got it for my birthday, actually, but it was very good. Uh, about two birthdays ago I've had it. But, so uh, yeah, it opens and closes its mouth. Very, very fine detail to it. And um, as you can see, it's about the length of my hand, almost about the length of my wrist to, well, you know, the lower bicep. But apart from that, that is a uh, Vestatosaurus, so, um, yeah. I'm going to put him there. So, that fell down. Right, anyway. But first, I'd like us to take a look um, at this. I don't know if you can see it that well, but um, I have a collection of Godzillas up there. If I can move my camera, this is as far as it will go. And if I zoom in, there we go. This is just my collection of Godzillas. Um, it's double I can do. Here they are. We've got Angurus. Gigan, Mechagodzilla, Heisei Godzilla, Godzilla Jr., um, Tanaskoji, Zilla, Kiryu, and Shin Godzillas, as well as Fire Rodan and the Funko Pops. Aside from that, I've got my charges. This is really a disaster video for me. This is not going well. Right. But, uh, let's just kick it off again with the Funko Pop Godzilla. The Funko Pop Godzilla. The Funko Pop Godzilla. Um, I got this about two Christmases ago. Um, I searched everywhere on the internet for this but i just could not find it it was nowhere but yeah this is what it looks like it's got it's kind of like a hybrid between different godzillas it's got the purple spikes of millennium goji it's got the gray charcoal skin of the uh the original goji but it's also got the pale white eyes of the gmk goji so uh yeah but as well as having a Funko Pop Godzilla, I too also have a Funko Pop Kong. This is from the 2017 one, not the 2020 one. As you can see, uh, this is from Kong Skull Island, and he's holding the um, Chinooks, the helicopters. Um, unlike the Godzilla Funko Pop figure, this one can move its head. I prefer to keep it in one place because I like to keep them on display. But um, this one can only move its head. But again, I got it about two Christmases ago. Um, yeah, I like the Godzilla one more because there's more detail to it. However, I do like the additional uh, broken helicopter to this figure. Um, let me just put him down. But now... We move on to a little bit of figurines. 
These are all like hybrid Godzillas. A minifigure of Burning Godzilla. Or, yeah, he's got orange, orange or red spikes. But uh, orangey red spikes. But there, there you go. He's not that tall, but that's what he looks like. There's also a blue Goji. I like to call him Super Godzilla. Um, there's also one with white spikes. I call him Ghost. He reminds me of Ghost Godzilla, but there he is. And finally, there is this one. Not really sure what to call him, really, but I'll let you guys decide. Um, I'm not really sure how I got these, but um, I think I got them in like a little pack. It was like a packet about this big, and it came with all of these. I don't know where. I kind of don't know where I got them from. But, uh, yeah. But now, if we move on from Godzilla Kaiju... What just fell on my foot? Okay. Apart from if we move on to... Move off from Godzilla Kaijus, why don't we take a look at Ultraman Kaijus? So, I've got figurine of Ultraman. Yeah. Oh, my mask. Ugh. I've got a figurine of Ultraman. The original 1966 Ultraman from the Ultraman cartoon, Ultraman. Um, yeah. This one is quite big compared to other figurines that I have. He's around 17 centimetres tall. But aside from Ultraman, I do also have Ultra 7. Who starred in the 1967 cartoon, Ultra 7. Um, I'd say Ultra 7 has more abilities than Ultraman. But he's quite interesting. Um, but I also have, apart from Ultraman, I also have Ultraman's most powerful nemesis, Zetan. Yeah, he is. Um, I'll let you guys decide in the comments who would win out of these two. And also, I've recently figured out that for each kaiju that you purchase, you also get kaiju cards. Um... For example, Zetan uh, is card number is there's 500 of these to collect, and Zetan is figurine number three. There's 500 of these, um, and um, it tells you like a picture of the monster and what number they are, and the height, and maybe their length and the weight. I also have these for Gamora and Bem Bemstar who will appear later in this episode. Um, but yeah, if you're looking to collect figurines, watch out for those cards. But I'll let you guys decide in the comments who would win out of Zetan and Ultraman. I like to keep these guys on my shelf. I have a lot of shelves for displaying kaijus. Following on to the more Ultraman theme, we have even more Ultraman kaijus. We have... Well, well, first we have two Ultraman Kaijus that have been featured in my stop motion videos, featured by me. This is the two whipping nemesises, Gudon and Twintail. Gudon and Twintail. These guys, um, both made by Bandai. Worth mentioning that every single figurine I've just shown you right now is also made by Bandai. Gudon and Twintail. Uh, in Gook. The first ever stop motion I made was featured with Gudon and the original Gojira. Gudon. Um, unfortunately, I don't have his monster cards. I'm pretty sure he does have one, but I don't know where it is, unfortunately. Um, it's the same with Twintail. I don't know where his monster card is, but... Yeah, Twintail is actually taller in, ter in terms of size. If I, uh, look, here you go. Twintail has less maneuverability, for example. You can only move his two tails up here. As for Gudon, you can move his tail and his two whips. Overall, I think I do like Gudon more, because I've lost Twintail many a times. 
I only found him yesterday, but he's now on display on my shelf. Which is there. But, um, yeah. But, now, I also have a figurine of the Hero of Ultra Galaxy. It's not Ultraman, it's not Ultra 7. It's Gamora, Ray's monster. Um, yeah, this is uh, Gamora. I got him for Christmas this year. Uh, very epic looking. Um, this Spark doll also appeared in many Ultraman episodes. He's also for Ultraman, so... He was the first ever kaiju to defeat him, but not properly kill him. But here you are. Gamora. The Gamora is actually the tallest out of all these monsters. However, Gudon is the heaviest out of all these monsters. Um, but yeah. That was more Ultraman kaiju for you. I put them on display again on my shelf. But quickly, as well as having Ultraman and Ultra 7, we also have Ultraman Cosmos. Can't remember when I got this guy, but it was ages and ages ago. Ultraman Cosmos. He's blue, and certainly got trampled by Garadama. Ultraman Cosmos is the same height as Ultraman, but uh, yeah, he's blue. And this is what he looks like doesn't stand very well but yeah I also have Showa Godzilla you know 1968 Godzilla destroy all monsters 1971 Godzilla vs Sadora Godzilla vs Gigan all of that but I also have the original Gojira uh, from 1954. Um, Showa Godzilla is taller than Shodai Goji. But um, yeah, I do like them equally. I imagine this is fake Godzilla actually. Uh, that gave me another idea for stop motion. Coming up next, we're moving further down the shelf. Oh god, I will want to mess up my shelf. Oh Jesus, no, don't fall. No, no, no. Sorry for any Christians watching my videos. Okay, that we're going to have to do. Well, during the release of uh, King of the Monsters, well, before King of the Monsters actually, I collected, for my birthday, Titanus King Ghidorah. Um, in the movie, he was 158 metres tall with a, sort of like a 320 metre wingspan. And he weighs 141,041 tonnes. But so yeah, he is massive even as a toy. Only problem I have with him is that his left head, left head falls off a bit too easily and the heads aren't displayed out as further as I'd like but overall he's massive yeah Titanus Ghidorah two tails and massive wings yeah but aside from Ghidorah going back to Ultraman on this Christmas I collected Bemstar He's a bit foolish, but don't judge a book by its cover. If I pull out his monster card, if you're looking to collect these, then we'll start his figurine number 17. So if you're looking to collect them, this is uh, figurine number 17 for you. Bemstar has a feature in the, well, all of his films that he's been featured in and series. He has a suction attack to spout, which can absorb attacks for him to create energy for himself. He can fire a laser out of his horn. He has hooks for hands. He's just goddamn powerful. <sighs> now, let me breathe, breathe after saying all that. But yeah. Titanus Ghidorah and Bemastar. That's how Japan say Bemastar's name. They add a vowel to literally everything.
and just getting some trouble again, getting another kaiju figure out. Ugh. Now, whereas when after I watched Godzilla vs Kong like a few months after, which I was very disappointed about, um, I got Warback figure. It doesn't stand very well, but it looks amazing. Warback. Uh, got ripped to shreds by Kong in the movie. Spoiler alert. But yeah. Warbat. Not really much to say about him, just a giant serpent with wings. That's it. Apart from that, I've also got Legendary Godzilla from the 2014 movie, who fought the Mutos. He got a massive tail. Very big. Very small arms, a very, very small head, and uh, quite big feet, and very sharp dorsal plates. Um, overall, I do. I have had this figure for uh, quite a long time. I got him for, like, four Christmases ago? I'm not, not really sure. It was epic, though, I'm not gonna lie. It would be very epic to see these two fighting. But yeah. Those that is the Warbats and Legendary Godzilla. Whilst I have the ordeal of putting them back on my shelf, I'm going to pull out the next figurines. Ooh. More Godzillas. This is the 1992 Goji from Godzilla vs. Moth for a Battle to Save the Earth. This was actually my first ever Godzilla figurine I ever, ever got, so he remains precious in all my heart. The first ever Godzilla figurine I ever received. It was from a gift, actually. As well as this, I also have the SH Monster Arts 1984 Godzilla, who featured in The Return of Godzilla. He's actually very heavy, compared to, he's not Bandai, he's SH Monster Arts. Bandai figures are much lighter than SH Monster Arts. He's made of a different, you know, material for his dorsal plates, because they are very wobbly, compared to Bandai's, quite sturdy. Still equally as epic, can move his jaw and move his hands, as well as even move his tail. but still came in the same packaging as a usual Bandai uh, figure, which was very confusing for me. Um, yeah. That was 84 Goji and 1992 Goji. Uh, let me just put them back. Next two are quite peculiar. It's not Imperial Godzilla, don't worry. This is another SH Monster Arts figure. Burning Godzilla. Quite an epic creature. Got it as a gift from my dad. Thank you, dad, if you're watching. Very red plates. The only problem I have is that his tail is has white dorsal plates. I'm not sure if that's actually true, but from what I can imagine... I'd imagine that he has red dorsal plates all the way. But it is just a coloured Heisei Godzilla figure, but I don't mind that. His jaw's a bit stiff. But overall, very epic. Can move his arms, legs, tail. And yeah, burning Godzilla. But, you might be thinking, what is this peculiar thing? It's got very big dorsal plates, hasn't it, robot? Well, you're about to be... For any Godzilla fans, this is going to disappoint you or surprise you. I'm very sorry to say this, everyone. The next figurine is a Godzilla Poppet. I'm very sorry, but I just had to get it, you know. It was actually quite good. It's actually okay, considering that there's a there's an Among Us puppet which I did not want to speak about. Um, there, yeah, this is a Godzilla puppet. So to my friend Elliot, who also likes Godzilla, I recommend you do not buy this. 
But uh, I'd definitely 100% like this one more because it's actually Godzilla rather than this. Personally, I'm a Chad, so I prefer wrapping wrapping paper other than a poppet. But the next figurine is the largest that I've ever shown you so far. And when I say large, I mean beyond big. He featured in a 2004 film. It's Godzilla Final Wars. He's tall enough to just stand on my desk. He's Bandai, so it is absolutely massive. Massive dorsal plates. And if I put his tail in the correct position, um, hold on, his tail's here. And there you go. This is the Bandai Godzilla Final Wars. This is what it looks like. It's massive. If I stand my arm here, he is the correct height of my arm if I ledge it as if I'm about to do an arm wrestle with someone. That is how big he is. If I put a ruler here, for example, you would need, he's exactly a foot tall. Almost a foot tall. He's almost a foot or 30 centimetres tall. That is how big this Godzilla is. But it's it's ridiculous. I can't really explain how big that is. Uh, let's see. Have I missed out anything? I think... Oh, there is a few more. But they are on the top levels of my shelf. Which is over here. And over there. I know this seems like a very rushed video for everyone, but I do apologise for that. Moving on to the very last Godzilla figures of mine. So this one, I wasn't... Meh. It's an okay figurine. It's the new... Actually, can I show this? I don't want to spoil it. Don't want to spoil a certain movie for anyone. Um, I think. Can I show this? Hmm. Tell you what, I can just put. I can just put Godzilla vs Kong spoilers to in this video, but for now, I'm just going to show the tail of this mysterious creature. Obviously, it's a skull crawler. Obviously, like who doesn't know that? I'm gonna put him quickly on my shelf before I get any comments saying you've spoiled you've spoiled this certain film for us. But apart from that, we also have Millennium Godzilla. There goes my rulers. Millennium Godzilla, sharpest spikes I've ever seen. He also fires fire atomic breath or red atomic breath. Curly tail. Can move his legs if I stand him up here. We'll see. There he is. Millennium Godzilla is one of my favourite incarnations of Godzilla because I just like his role. And also, he very epic. Um, the next two are from the Showa era and GMK era. I think you only saw one. But Godzilla's second best arch nemesis is Mechagodzilla. The Showa Bandai Mechagodzilla epic can revolve his head if I slowly itch myself. He can revolve his head, revolve his arms, revolve his other arm. He can revolve his legs and his other leg. There's nothing with his tail, but overall he's just absolutely sick. I love Mechagodzilla. But he can't find a way to defeat the actual Godzilla. As well as this, we also have the main antagonist of the GMK movie Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, giant monsters all out of attack. Out attack. It's GMK Godzilla. To date, the ugliest Godzilla yet, who's practically, I don't know how he's not blind because he has no pupils, GMK would obviously win the award. 
But we're moving on to the final two figurines. Next one. If I can just get it from the floor. It's a Godzilla mask. If you pull the drawer open slightly, and pull it wide open, yep, it's a Godzilla mask, and it's for King of the Monsters. And as well as that, it actually goes with my Godzilla costume, as you can see I'm wearing right now. It also comes with a tail, but um, I can't be bothered to wear it. But yeah, the Godzilla mask. Very sick, very awesome. There's a switch here that allows you to turn it on and off. But the final figurine of this episode is the largest figurine I have in my entire Godzilla collection. He is over, uh, if I, I need to bring my camera all the way down to my carpet actually, to show the size of this big boy. It is the King of the Monsters Godzilla, and I will pull out two rulers to show you a comparison. Well, I'll tell you what, this is my water bottle compared to, this is a very big water bottle and this is how big it is compared to Godzilla. It's half the size of Godzilla. This Godzilla, if I try to reincarnate my rulers from the past, oh god, where did they go? Oh no guys, where did you go? Well, this is a 15 centimeter ruler, and it only covers his legs. Overall, this Godzilla is a foot and a half tall, and a water bottle is nothing compared to him. So this is my largest Godzilla figurine by far. I can put it even more into comparison. I have a model of a United Airlines plane. And as you can see, it only covers the length of Godzilla's arms. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing. And I'll be back next year with another of these Kaiju Collection videos. Ciao ciao from me everyone. And I wish you a very, very, very... Happy New Year.